In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Catholic TV Mass. My name is Harry, Father Harry, priest of the Archdiocese of San Francisco. And with me to help with the Mass today is Alana Bay and Jim. Jimmy, who's from Archbishop Reardon High School. It's his first time, so this is like a test, you know. <laughs> We're very grateful to have you, and we're grateful to the high school for allowing you to cut classes today. <laughs> no. Uh, thanks be to God, we're here to celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. We offer this Mass for you and your intentions. So we ask you to place yourselves in the presence of God, as we all do, in asking God's mercy and forgiveness for our sins. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observance of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east and placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food with the tree of life in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, you shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, you certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O God, for I have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O God, for I have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be, Be merciful, merciful, O God, for I have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, Be merciful O God, God, for I have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O God, for I have sinned. O 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death, and thus death came to all inasmuch as all sinned. For if by the trans transgression of one, death came to reign through that one, how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of justification come to reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ? In conclusion, just as through one transgression, condemnation came upon all, so through one righteous act, acquittal and life came to all. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners, so through the obedience of the one, the many will be made righteous. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was hungry. The tempter approached and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He replied, it is written, one does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All these I shall give to you if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this, Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, The Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Numbers are important to many people, and sometimes they become an obsession. And today we hear 40 days and 40 nights in the desert and temptation and numbers then take on a whole new meaning. We uh, sometimes have trouble with our age when numbers go up, 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 up. We have problems with telephone numbers when they change. We often get confused about the numbers of our address that we need to know, and maybe even our social security number. And we will never forget our lotto numbers are our bingo numbers. Lent is 40 days and 40 nights. 
a countdown to Calvary. It's days in the desert. In our prayer group, we often try to spend at least one day in the desert a month just to reflect on what's going on in our lives. This is uh, the prayer group that I belong to. It is a time of penance, for sure, but also a time of testing, uh, a trial period. But I always like to use the expression, it's like when you're driving a car and you come up to the end of the street and the octagonal, octagonal sign there says stop. You stop and then you look both ways and you check the traffic and you move on. You don't stop and get out of your car and wait for somebody to change the sign that says go. It's a caution, it's a, it's a cautionary method to keep you safe. So it is in our spiritual life during this Lenten season. We're told to take a better look at ourselves, to stop and look both ways and look at ourselves and look at the direction in which we are going. Uh, I've used this expression before, but one time I was interviewed uh, on television about Jesus Christ Superstar, the rock musical, and it ends uh, with Jesus Christ being crucified. It wasn't until about five years later when uh, someone penned Godspell, where we see the life of Jesus and where he dies and does all these marvelous things for human beings. It's a whole different way of looking at life. Just like at the end of the gospel today, angels came and ministered to him. So if this is a penitential season for you and you find it rough, think about those numbers. 40 goes by very fast. And I don't know why a fast is always so slow. <laughs> But uh, it's time for us during this season to make some special effort to uh, look inside at ourselves and our relationship with God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this time to place our intentions before you. For all the faithful, the elect catechumens and candidates, and for our TV community, that we all respond generously to the sacredness and challenge of this season of Lent. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died this past week, that they rejoice in the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may seek the path of justice in all their decisions and actions. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And guide us, Lord, through this Lent, through the strange and fearful spaces, toward the place toward of your eternal dwelling. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for the opportunity of placing our intentions before you. Answer them if they be according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in your divinity. Who humbled yourself to share in our humanity? Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. church. Give us the right of dis give us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings for with them we celebrate the beginning of the venerable and sacred time of Lent, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice so that celebrating worthily his paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal paschal feast. And so with the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, the Bishop of your diocese, and the many others who serve you. 
Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <coughs> thy thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. I hope that you have someone near that you can wish a sign of God's peace to. Peace be with you, Jimmy. Peace, peace, peace Alana. Peace, Harry. Thank you, Jim, Jimmy. Peace, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins sin of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, Jamie. Amen. The body of Christ, Alana. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The Lord will conceal you with, pin with his pinions, and under the wings you will trust. Let us pray. 
renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened. We pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May bountiful blessings, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in, in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your you. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to live the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. I hope it is a wonderful season of Lent for you. We offer this Mass each and every Sunday for you and your intentions. And you can always help us out by spreading the word of other people who might be homebound or in prison or uh, in an elder care center. We depend a great deal on your offerings and your gifts to us. So if you can make a gift during this penitential season, uh, we might be a good charity for you to give alms. Uh, it would be the Catholic TV Mass, 1 Peter York Way, San Francisco 94109. And uh, you can make a check out to the Catholic TV Mass. If you have a particular uh, question or concern, we also have a telephone number. That's 415-614-5643. And Jan, our producer, will answer that phone. She's not there because it's Sunday, but she will get to you later this week. So on behalf of uh, Jimmy and Atlana, we wish you a holy and happy uh, penitential season, if such can be happy. Uh, not always meant to be, but it is, uh, because it's our immediate preparation for the Lord. Dear Father Harry, I've been ill and homebound for many months. I'm 79. I appreciate you bringing the TV Mass into my home. My only daughter has been extremely helpful in my time of need, and for that I ask that you give her a special blessing because she always has, a, she has her own family to take care of and a job. Please pray for me also that I again regain my health. I am very grateful to you and all of those who help you. Please accept my small donation. God bless you. Keep